Hey you guys, my name is Trishawn and I'm gonna show you guys how to add fractions. You might hear a little bit of noise in the background, but that's my kids, don't be alert. So here we go, I'm about to start you guys. This is adding fractions and like most equations, they have a lot of fractions in them. So I wanna show you guys how to add fractions. Okay, adding fractions, the two, which let me step out the way. The two is the numerator, the top number is the numerator. This little sign, two over four, this sign right here is a fraction bar, which, you know, that, that's what you could look at it as. So that reminds me, and I say fraction bar so you can know to divide. The number four is the denominator, right? Okay, so numerator. Okay. So when I refer to something as the numerator, I'm talking about this, six, numerator. Fraction bar right here. And I say fraction bar because sometimes you have to divide a fraction. Okay? Numerator, fraction bar, denominator, right? Six over eight. Okay, so let's get into it. This is gonna be a short video. I'm not gonna keep you guys alone. Let's see what I think of a problem. Okay. Three over eight plus seven over 10. Three over eight plus seven over 10. Let me zoom a little closer so you guys can see the war. So three over eight plus seven over 10. Now, when you are adding fractions, if the denominator is the same, you have to do a bunch of stuff, right? So let me keep this right here. But in the meantime, I'm gonna show you guys something. Two over four plus three over four. If you ever see a problem like this, denominators, the two bottom numbers. If the two bottom numbers are the same, you guys, you know what you do? You keep the denominator the same. You just add straight across, right? Three plus two, five. Denominator is the same. You don't do anything. You don't change it, okay? Five over four. Now, here our numerator is bigger than our denominator. So, you cannot keep a fraction this way at all. You can't keep a fraction like this, five over four. So, how many times, that's why I said this line right here, keep in mind, it's a division board. So, how many times does four go into five? One time, right? How many, the remainder left over, four divided by five is what? One, right? So, you put that at the top, then at the bottom. And if you want to check yourself, just to see if you're correct, this is what you would do. Four times a one is what? Four plus one is five. Five over four. So that's how you check, check it. So if they have the same denominator, everything is based on the denominators, you guys. So if the denominator is the same, you just add straight across. That goes for subtract, subtraction as well. Okay, so. I'm going to... Um, Go ahead and do another adding problem. I'm gonna add another fraction with the same denominator. Like I said, everything is based on the denominators, you guys. If the denominator is the same, you add straight across and you keep the denominator there. The same denominator. You do not change the denominator. We do not touch that. I'm gonna show you when we touch it, but now we don't touch it. Plus one over six. So, give you guys the time to think about it. Three plus one, four. Do we add six plus six? No, we don't. We keep the denominator same, the same. If the denominator is the same, we just bring it over here, you guys. We never change the denominator, okay? Four over six. Now, four over six. So, four over six, we good now because our numerator, and when I'm referring to numerator, you guys, what is the numerator? The top number, right, four. The bottom number, denominator, right? So, four over six, we could leave it like this, but sometimes they say add the fraction, but if they say simplify, we would have to simplify. And when I say simplify, four over six, what is a number that can go into four into six, right? Two, right? Two, four, six, see? Two times two, right? Six. Come on, think. 
two times three, right? And as always, what we will do, cross out the twos, because they are the same, and leave the Ds. And add a thing, division board, two over three. So that simplifies to two over three, you guys. So, All right, let's get into um, adding fractions with different denominators. Three over eight plus seven over 10. So, like I said, we will never add this straight across because the denominators aren't the same. Everything is based off the denominators, like I said, you guys, right? So look, we have to find out should I do this across or down? I'm going to do it this way, you guys. So you guys can actually see 3 over 8 plus 7 over 10. Okay. So what number goes into 8 and to 10? 10, 10, 20, 30, 40. Now, some people multiply the bottom, two bottom numbers, which you could. But it causes a lot. Sometimes, sometimes it costs so much work to do that when you can find a easier number to use or whatever or a lower number you know but anyways i'm gonna try this method i'm gonna do 80 right 80 goes into each number right 80 80 and when i say go into it i'm sorry you guys 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 okay 80 is a number that they have in common eight come on now 10 times 8 80 right 8 16 and so on you would you know some people could spread it out to see where they get the 80 at. But yeah, that's how you do it. So, 8, 8, how did we get 80? 8 times 10, right? We If you times 10 times 8, you get the 80. That's where the 80 comes from. So, what we do to the bottom, we do to the top. So, basically, we multiply 10 times 8. That was the number that they had, these two had in common, the least common denominator, right? So we did that 10, right? This is what you do to the bottom, we have to do to the top. So 10. 10 times 3. 30. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all, about the noise. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. So 10. What did we do to get 80? 10 times 8, right? Right? So 10 times 3, 30. 7 times 8, 56. Right? And we're adding. And just like we did before, so now we add 30 plus 56 over 80, 30 over 80 plus 56 over 80. And remember we talked about um, a couple of minutes ago that the, the, if the denominator is the same, we just add it straight across. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to add the number straight across, babies. So 56 plus 30 is what? 86 over 80. Right? So that's what it equals, right? So we got 86 over 80. So, like I said before, this can turn into a division board. That's why I call I call it a division board. I'm so sorry about the noise. Right? 86 divided by 80. Okay, how many times is 80 divided by 6? 86 goes into 80. What? One time. You can do this on your hands. You got one, right? So however many it goes into, that's going to be your whole number, the one. So 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, use your hands, 6, right? That's what's left over, 6, right? Guess what? And then you put that over 80. Boom. 1, 6 over 80, right? I'm so sick of my kids. And just make sure, like, this is how I always check. Okay, so you times and you add to see if the number is right. 80, one. 80 times 1 is 80, right? Plus 6, 86. That's the same as the, the, num I mean the numerator, so you know that's right, right? 86 over 80. I don't know why I was about to write that, but yeah. So I hope you guys understand then. And then, so 1, 6 over 80, okay. I could have broke that down a little more, but I don't want to do all that. All right. So, we're about to recap since the kids was making a lot of noise. And fractions. Same denominator.
same denominator. What did I say? Five over nine. Denominator the same. Boom. That's it. When it's the same denominator. Denominator, bottom number, numerator. Five over nine. That's it. That's how you add it, right? Now look at this. I'm gonna give you guys a couple of seconds to just like look at it. Okay, we have to find a common denominator, you guys. Like I said, you can easily just multiply these two and just do it like that if that's quicker for you, or you could try to find the least common. But I don't know, it depends on how I feel. So guess what, y'all? This how I do it. Now, like I said before, six and we have a four. We have to find a number that they both can go into. So, this is how I used to do it in high school. 6, 12, 18, 24. Okay. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, right? Then, 24 for the 4, 24 for the 6. That's how I used to come up with my numbers, y'all. So, 24, 24. Now, how did I get to 24, right? Let's use our hands. It's okay to use your hands if that's what you want to do. 6, 12. 18, 24, four times, right? So we have to multiply this four times to get to the 24. And what we said, what we do to the bottom, we must do to the top, right? Four times three, 12, right? Okay, we're gonna use our hands again. Four, how did I get to the 24? How many times it took me? Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, six times, right, you guys? I just, I'm just showing y'all like this. Don't judge me. 6, 12, right? So that's my 6. Oh, that's a ugly 6. Alright? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. 6. 6 times 2 is what? 12. Okay. Now, we was just, now that we got to this part, we was just looking at this, right? We don't add straight across. Okay? We'll keep the denominator the same. 12 plus 12 is what? 24. Booyah! 24 over 24. Maya, you probably can help me out with this one. 24 over 24 is a 1 if I had to simplify it. So that's how I did it. So I'll be back later on with another video. I hope y'all learned how to add and add a uh, fraction. I'm sorry about the noise from the baby kids. They was running wild. They, they just didn't want to do it. They didn't want to listen. I'm sorry. Peace. Love y'all.